In part B, in the direction of propagation, the electric field value is changing in space. So we have to look at our expression and see what is causing the value of the electric field to change. And this y hat we just determined is orientation. It's not changing our electric field value. But what is changing our electric field value is this z. And so we're looking at the argument. If we were to convert to the time domain, the argument of the cosine would be omega t plus kz. So another way to look at this is that as time progresses, as time goes up, z, in order to get a constant argument and track a peak, or say for example the peak of the cosine, z would have to go down. So this means that the wave is propagating in the minus z direction.